and welcome back to my channel and today's video I'm going to be doing the highly requested how I edit my Instagram photos with like the disposable effect I did a video like this about my insects many or my Polaroids and I will have that link down below as well you guys love that video and now I switched to disposable so the time being getting the same questions it's always like how do you edit what filter is this I'm here to answer those questions today if you guys are new here and you guys like this video be sure to subscribe also, be sure to check out my Instagram, that is where I'm posting these photos, and it's just a fun time over there. Okay, let's get down to business, guys. Most of the time, the photos, actually all the time, the photos that you guys are asking me about are actual disposables that I have scanned, but as always, like I did in the last video, I'm going to show you guys, to my best ability, how I would edit to kind of get the same effect, if that would help you guys at all. Um, last time, I took a photo, and I scanned it, and then I edited it another photo to look just like that obviously I can't do that because with the disposable you have to go take it in to a shop to get it developed and that takes a few days and it just like literally wouldn't work so we're just gonna be editing a random photo I just have a normal um, Fujifilm disposable each photo gives you 27 um, pictures I don't know how much they are individually I feel like these cameras are like $15 I normally buy them in bulk on Amazon I'll get like a hundred no I won't I'll get like 10 cameras at once I'm covering my bedroom wall like the one where my big mirror is on if you guys watch my vlogs with disposables as I'm sure you guys have all seen so that is kind of like where well no I think I started with the disposables first and then I got the idea but um, that's kind of where this like whole obsession came from I haven't taken a Polaroid in a second um, but I love these I love the effect I love having like the physical photos it's just so cool um, I'm a very nostalgic person and I really like having cool photos so that is why I'm really into this. So as you guys can see, like I'll show you this photo. Like this is kind of like what they look like. I mean obviously they're each like totally different. Like this is like in a dark room. Um, that's like natural lighting. This is me on the Brooklyn Bridge. I just have a few that I had laying out in my office. They're very cool. Um, I have had multiple occasions where I'll go get them developed and I guess I just, I'm not good at taking these photos. Like I don't know exactly what happens and a lot of the times some of them will end up like really dark or blurry or whatever. So, definitely like figure that out. Use flash, <laughs> it's very important. But they're fun, and when you go get the photos developed, like I really highly recommend doing the disposable route because when you get the photos developed, it's like Christmas morning, you like forgot you even took photos and you have all of them, and then you have them all physically, and then you can scan them, and that is when they look the best, in my opinion at least. Um, so, yeah, I will have everything linked down below that I use. It's really just that camera, and then you just can take it anywhere to get developed. Um, some drugstores have, like CVS and Walgreens typically have like a photo department where sometimes they have it on site where they can like get them developed in 24 hours which is really fast but like the ones near me you have to send them in it'll take like four to five weeks it's ridiculous and it's more expensive there I would recommend finding like a random like film photo shop near you normally those are cheaper it costs me like eight dollars a roll to get them developed and it's only 48 hours so it's a good setup it is really hot in here guys. Oh my gosh. I'm going to use an app Filmborn. This is not sponsored. I found this one yesterday when I was doing some research on how to edit them to the best of my ability. I'm gonna edit a photo of me and Danny at night. Um, I'll show you guys. These are some of my nighttime flash ones. Okay. This app gives you like, it's like Fujifilm, Kodak. I don't know what that middle one is. It's probably stupid of me. But like you can just choose whichever filter you guys like the best. And then obviously you can just like switch it up from there like the white balance you want to like cooler this really like right here looks kind of like my film photos save changes with this one you want to do save a new copy though because it will change the like original photo this one looks like a lot of my things like it's really that easy if anything maybe I would go into like the SEO cam and I would um, add some grain so I'll show you guys how I do that. Grain is your best friend when it comes to editing any photo. It really doesn't even matter what you're editing. It's a great thing. Up the grain. Yeah, like honestly, I would say that's like pretty close. I'm gonna do one that is like, um, just kind of like more normal lighting. Okay, I took this photo when I downloaded the app of my room and I was kind of just messing around with it. And it honestly like helped a lot. I really like P160 when it comes to just like normal lighting. Um, you can change the exposure. The white balance, 
Knock up the exposure a little bit, change the white balance. This is just like a tent, so it really just depends. Like, you can have a little bit more of like a pink tent. And honestly, like that one, this photo, like the effect on it really reminds me, I'll put this right here, of this photo right here. Like the coloring in these are very similar. If anything, like maybe I would just like white balance it a little bit so it's more blue, but like this effect is definitely like super, super, super similar to this one. So, again, save as a new copy. The only thing I would go to is in VSCO cam. I would go back to that and then I would just add some more grain. Add some more grain. And there you go. Like, that is really, in my opinion, like it looks so much like my Polaroids, or not my, my Polaroids, looks so much like my disposables and the effects and I really like this way to edit. Thank you, the boys are home. That is it for my video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was helpful in some way, shape, or form. Love you guys so much, and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Follow my Instagram. I'll see you soon. Bye.